Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here this morning starting a new project on this beautiful morning. The sun's shining, the birds are out, butterflies are all over my flowers, and I love to walk around and look at them and see what beautiful creations the Lord has made. And I am so blessed and thankful for, for all my subscribers and viewers. Thank you so much for all that you've done for me. And I'm going to try to get on with my videos and try not to dwell on things that are happening and things that are going on. It doesn't help, I know, but sometimes it's kind of hard to do. But y'all enjoy the video and let's all enjoy our life, what we have, and make the best of it because life is short, even if you live to be 80 years old. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. And I'm going to make a flower pot today. And it's going to be a flower pot out of Portland cement and Georgia sand, which is just sand. It's from, from my road. It's not, uh, just, it's not bought sand. It's just some that I gather from my road that's sand. And I'm going to mix it up and get started on my project I'm excited about making I haven't made a, a Portland cement project in a little while so I've decided to come out here and start on one today I'm I'm going to start mixing my cement and get started on this project thank y'all so so much thank you okay I'm ready to mix up my cement now. Uh, this is six cups of, I call Georgia sand. It's nothing but sand off of my road. I don't, I don't have to buy it, so I just scoop it up. And it's real fine uh, sand, and I, I use that because I don't have to buy it. <laughs> and it's good sand. And there's six more cups. It's 12 in all. Okay. Now this is my cement. Portland cement. Six cups of Portland cement. Let me get my little thing. Try to get it out without making a whole lot of dust because it's not good for you to breathe that. Stir it up. Okay. Now I'm going to mix in my water. And I want my cement this time to be a little thick so it won't be runny and it'll stick where I put it. Just be careful when you're putting your water because you can't take it back out. <laughs> Definitely needing a little more.
It's a beautiful day today. Okay, I got to be kind of careful with my water now because it's you don't want to get it too thin. I think that's going to be okay. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get this uh, little bucket uh, thing that I bought to, uh, I, I'm going to cover it with plastic so it won't stick, maybe. <laughs> you know, my, my uh, stuff that I do might, might stick. I'm going to try to keep it from sticking. Maybe I can. I don't know. I'm going to try. I'm just going to put this. And, and the cement doesn't like to stick to just plastic. You know, it it slides off pretty bad. I thought about putting some cloth over it. And see See how that worked, but I don't know. I'm, I don't know what. To, I'm, I'm just gonna try this. Maybe it'll. I've been so busy. I have been uh, can't talk over them birds. I have been very busy. I've been to funerals, two funeral, uh, one funeral, and I'm going to another one tomorrow. And. Takes, it takes a lot to get all this going and <laughs> getting it prepared and getting it together. It just seems like it's always something to do. And I'm not complaining about that. I don't know what to do about this ain't sticking
I really don't know what I'm going to do here. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want it to slide off the cement. It's so slanted and, and something like plastic will make it, let it slide uh, down easy. And I don't want it to slide down easy. I want it to stay up there. Okay, I'm going to start putting my cement on here now and see how it looks, how it works. I've never done this before. Not this particular thing. Gonna see how the thing turns out when we, when I get through with it. know what I got to do. I got to go get my lazy Susan and put it on here. Sometimes you just have to start over and try again. <laughs>
I want to thank everyone that helped me in my time of need. <laughs> it's helped a lot, and I appreciate it so much. I, I, I want to thank everyone for believing in me and, and not thinking I'm trying to uh, scam anyone was not ever a thought of scamming people. I, I didn't I realize that it would, people would think things like that, but I know there's that kind of thing in the world that's going on, but I certainly am not one of those people. <laughs> And the, and the Lord will provide with the help of good Christian people that care about others. And I, I've been so blessed by all the, the mail and the cards that I've received and money, checks. I'm so thankful for that. I never thought that I would ha have to be asking anyone for help, but I guess there comes a time in everyone's life that things happen that they don't think would happen to them, and it certainly happened to me. Life is, is short. The Bible says your life, your life is like a vapor, and I certainly do believe that because it seems like time goes by so fast, and you have a lot you want to do in your life, and it seems like you can't get it all done. But anyone that has something they enjoy doing that helps them to keep your mind off of things that may be bothering you. And I know the Lord has given me this gift because I've been living 80 years now and I lived all all that other time till like last year I just started doing this I didn't even know I could but my my pastor of my church says everyone has a talent you just have to find your talent and use it. And I guess this might be one of my talents because <laughs> uh, I certainly didn't know that I could do this. But it's so much fun and it's it's a lot of work. <laughs> it really is. It yeah. It's it's sort of uh, but everything, nothing is without trials and tribulations. I think I've lived long enough to know that you're gonna go through things in your life that's not pleasant. But you just ask the Lord to help you get through it the Bible says he'll never leave you nor forsake you and I I'm believing that and 
he he doesn't want bad things to happen to us, but he also we have to go through things in our life. It, I guess it's for a reason. I don't know, but. Job went through life. He had everything taken away from him, and he still trusted and believed. So that's what I'm going to do. I trust and believe that everything's going to be all right. And the Lord has placed in my life people that care and are willing to help, and I never never ask for much because I know other people are going through things themselves and I don't want to put a burden on anyone else when I get when I get the money for to pay off all the things that I've got to pay I'll I won't need any more. And maybe I can help some others that that are in need. I received a a, a letter card from a lady that had very shaky handwriting. It touched my heart that this lady is trying to help me, and I'm sure she needs help too. I've never had a lot of money, <laughs> uh, so. I don't know how it is to have a lot of money, but I don't need a lot of money. I just need uh, a few things that uh, has come up that has put a burden on me in, through the family, but it's going to be okay. The Lord has provided people in my life that are willing to help others that are are in need and I hope I can help someone in need myself Oh, and people has asked me about my wind chimes. I did not make them. Uh, they're glass. And I bought them at Big Lots. Several years ago, I bought some, and they had sort of faded out and wasn't as bright as they were when I bought them so me and my grandson went to went to that store uh, a little while back when it when they were getting their stuff in for the spring and I saw these wind chimes again I never thought I'd see them again but there they were hanging back there on a on a stand that, and I was so happy that they had some so I got some more and put them up here, and I love to hear them and see them. They're, they're beautiful when the wind blows. They just all turn in colors, and
been waiting all winter for spring to get here. And it's came, but it's still a little, uh, it was frost uh, the other morning on my house top. I came out and took a picture of it. It was, it was frost up there on my house. But it's going to warm up and stay warm. And I love the warm weather. I don't like cold. I'm, I get cold and I don't get warm too easy. But we have to have the cool weather and the warm weather. So I never complain about the warm weather. But... And I try not to complain about the cold, but, you know, it's just, <laughs> I prefer warm weather. I've got so many things I want to make and I want to do, but just uh, a lot of things happening uh, that takes your time, and and you, I mean, you have to get out here and get your mind on what you're doing, and. and you have to get your things together and. Uh, I need a little my stuff my things I need my things a little more organized so I can find them better I think I need a big uh, cabinet or something to put my paint and my tools and my stuff that I work with in. But I can do without it. Everything in life is not easy. <laughs> I'm finding out more and more. I've always known it, but I thought maybe when you got 80 years old, things would be a lot better than they are. I thought you you would have your life already done, but I think it never ends with the trials and tribulations that you go through. I guess we'll see how this turns out when it dries. <laughs> the birds are happy today. Okay, I guess I'm going to stop because I've run out of cement. <laughs> I have it covered.
Okay, I'm going to let this dry and we'll, when it, when it gets dry, <laughs> I'll come back out here and take it out if I can. I hope everything is okay, but this is my first time ever doing one like this, so I don't really know. And sometimes, even if I think I know it don't do good, but. We're going to hope this is going to turn out. And thank y'all so much for watching this video. And have a blessed day. Subscribe and share if you'd like to. If you know anybody to share it with that would enjoy watching this. Would be so grateful. Thank you. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm out here. I, I'm going to open up my project my pot that I started the other day and see how it turned out I, I'm gonna see if it's dry enough to take out the mold and we're gonna see together what it how it looks the sun's kind of bright today so I put up an umbrella to shade it a little bit so there's the my pot that I put on here let me if I can turn it over, how the inside looks. You know, I put some cloth in it because the cement wasn't sticking to this plastic. job. Ooh, it's hot in there. There's my tub. That looks pretty good so far. I guess everybody can see it. Now let's see if I can get it out. Oh. Get a little bit better hold of it. <laughs> I put some, it's got some holes on the sides where you can pick it up, and I covered it with plastic tape. I guess I could bring the camera up here closer where you could see inside of it with me. Okay. Let's get this tape off. I think I put some on the outside and on the inside.
getting it out. Oh. Oh. Thank the Lord. Oh, I got it out. This done great. I didn't, I've never done this before. <laughs> I didn't know this that if this was even gonna work. But it did. What a what an awesome job that is. Great. Okay, I'm going I'm going to mix up just a little more cement now and smooth off these edges and and then I have to let that dry and then we'll come back and do some more. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a blessed, blessed day. Thank you. Okay, I'm going, I've mixed me up some cement and I've smoothed off this a little bit the best I could. And I want to put something on here. I've got this little leaf thing that I, I'll show it to you in just a minute. And I've, I've, I'm thinking I'll, I'll try to put some, a leaf on here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I mean, I'm, I'm going to turn it on the side. And see if it'll stick okay. Can you see that? Let me see. Oh, I guess so. This is the thing that I bought that I was going to try to make a leaf like that. Let's see if I can.
I'll put another one on here if I can. Sorry, someone came up and I had to turn my camera off. I'm trying to get my leaves on here. not talking much because <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to do with this it's hard to do it's not uh, I can't uh, put it on here because it falls off and I have to may have to just let some of it dry and then put some more on here because not wanting to stick the way I'm, I got it up here. Got a new roof on I got the house. A new roof. All done, brand new. Thank y'all so much for helping me do this. Okay, that's all.